U Dr. L. R. Bishnoi, Director General of Police, Hakajing Palat Kubor Mantagajan Miet, Ula Kranda Kabashai, Bagajing Jahatura Hakamin Arpusau Tarik Unaitung, Habaki Pai Bhur Kila Turpuk, Shabadan Umentri Rangba, Konrad K. Sangma, Hamini Secretary Hatura, Kalalong Kajing Tumu Ban Shim, Barban Penyap Yu Hakatai Hikamit, Uni Rangba Pulit Ula Ong, Baula Tikna, Bagadan Kajing Subut, Kabala Sandur Sani, Ban Le Yakanikakam. Ulong bana kaliang ki pulet ajing ada yang menteri rangba kira le ia laki kamram ban pelaje u nak ikti jo kinong shun ha katega met ijing ja ha karpo sa autorik nai tung ha mini sekretariat tura ha ba menteri rangba kontrat ke sangma ula le ban ya kendo e ka kenhun ka badang thia thangan ban dawa pentri kam ya ka reservation policy nadu ka senam khat kendai spa nyo pusau ban ban penlong ya ka tura ka nong ba telang ka jela Kajing elang hape deng u menteri rang ba abat kide khot kan kan hun kala sedang da kajing jai jai hakapor lai khat san jan miet bat kut ru hakajing jai jai hakapor san sau pusan kam sem la dan kanu kanu kajing bitar ne jing ya adnia ka ba khlut hakani kajing elang long ki khubor pen ban hakapor hendri sau pusan hadu nyau beji men miet palat san spa ngut ki pat bhur ki bam don ti a a bar kan kajing ya keren kira tur sakate ka jaka bar pertasla persa e menteri rang ba konrat ke sangma pat e kesor kar jeng u shen kila the de ki mau e kate ka office bat kila kawang mau kat e ki badon ki yet jeng kate ka office kila pat na kajing ther mau ha ki babun ki kamera hadu ar phongut ki pulet jela crpf bat home guard kila men sau na kane kajing sha ther mau ha kate ka miet Palat arpo tadi ki kali kila julor pat don katu kat ni kila sha thang ha banda luko pom mardor ki pulet kila talasi ya ki yeng ki sam jong ki brio ki bala suba bagi don kiti ha kan ka kam runar bat kila kem khat khanda ngot ha kate hi kamit ki badang penap srep na ka jingyo i na ki dor video ki long arpo hendri mu Uh, we are here to brief you about the uh, yesterday's unfortunate incident at the Kukri Tura, where the Honorable CM was holding a meeting at Minisecret with 18 number of representatives from the various NGOs, namely your Archie Conscious Holistically Integrated Krima, All India Garo Union, Al Achik Youth Forum, Al Achik Youth Welfare Society, Garo State Moment Council, New Tura Development Forum, United Garo People's Forum. Other than these NGOs, one senior citizen from Tura, one church representative from Tura, one research scholar of the Garo community, and one the advocate from the Garo NGOs, the total 18 number of persons they were holding meeting with the Honorable Chief Minister at many secret office in Tura. The meeting started at 3.15 p.m. and it continued till 5.45 p.m. It was a long marathon meeting where the discussions were basically concentrated on the demands by the various NGOs in general and two demands in specific. First, the winter capital at Tura and secondly, the implementation of reservations of the, the roster policy with retrospective effect. So most they were discussing in a very, very peaceful ambience. So when the meeting was about to over, then suddenly the crowd shouting started shouting slogans outside the mini set gates. So Honorable Chief Minister sent certain NGO members outside the Minister office to convince the crowd and not to create scene there. But the crowd became more violent and they instantly started pelting stones on police personnel, on vehicles, on the buildings. And the NGO members, they went inside and they briefed the Honorable Chief Minister. They also categorically told the Honorable Chief Minister that the youth, many youth, they were not the part of their NGOs. They appeared first time at the under strike site and they were never a part of any discussion and the NGOs, they never recognized such youths. So they came first time on the sites and immediately they created scene there. So after that, the police tried to convince them. They became more violent and after that, police resorted to mild battle charge and when the crowd did not buzz, then ultimately the police fired 
the 50 years smoke set. And after a great trip, you know, at um, Exxon's, uh, ultimately the crowd dispersed after two hours. For two hours, the crowd initially they dispersed, formed small groups in the nearby hillocks and they started printing stones intermittently. Because of that, it continued for almost two hours. So in the whole Exxon's, the, the, we had during the uh, post incident investigation stage, the Tura police uh, they found that it was the pre planned conspiracy uh, to attack Honorable Chief Minister and to damage him uh, physically. Uh, why they, have, they are saying like this? Because they gathered clinching evidence that money was distributed uh, on 23rd July uh, to some of the youths to create uh, the scene violence uh, there on the site. Secondly, on the 23rd July, the many bottles of liquors were distributed to the youth mm -hmm. and the many youth, they came with the uh, plastic jerry cans full of the, the kerosene along with match boxes and the lighters and the many stones were lying there and uh, the tent were pitched so that is why the bamboos were also available and the, on the sports they started giving inciting speeches where the Honorable Chief Minister was abused and threatened. And they they provoked the crowd to cause physical damage to Honorable Chief Minister. And even they insisted that we can go for the extreme step like murder, etc. So these that it was a pre-planned conspiracy to cause physical damage to Honorable Chief Ministers. Mm -hmm. The police maintained restraints for a couple of hours and let even knowing that they are causing huge damage to our vehicles, uh, police did not uh, decide to go for fighting to avoid the casualty of the other, other peaceful youth who were there and taking part in the education. Uh, you know the total, <clears throat> the 19th number of the, 21 number of the vehicles were damaged. The four vehicles set on the fires. Out of four, two were completely burnt, one was Gypsy and the second was the Bolero police vehicles and the 17 vehicles uh, got uh, damaged by pelting stones, either the glass panes were broken or the, the body parts of the vehicles were damaged. Out of the 17 vehicles damaged, uh, five unfortunately belonged to the Honorable Chief Minister of Carcat. the vehicles were parked inside the main safety. The MLA, the, the William Nagar MLA, Mr. was also broken, uh, was also damaged. The duty security of Honorable Chief Minister Vita was also targeted and partially damaged. Two civil department vehicles were damaged, four Meghalaya police vehicles were damaged. One ambulance, the ambulance which was carrying the injured police personnel to civil hospital, Dura, was also targeted. And the side window glass panes were broken. And other than that, three private vehicles were partially damaged. So total 18 persons uh, got injured, the 10 Meghalaya police personnel, 8 male and 2 females, the one home guard, the lady home guard was also injured and the 7 CRPF police personnel also got physical injuries. So in total, the total 18 persons got injured. The other incidents, and the police rescued the Honorable Chief Minister and the Honorable Chief Minister uh, went to his residence and he appealed all the citizens to maintain a peace and calm. So total yesterday night, the police whole night conducted a massive search after identifications of the accused. With the help of the video footage given by the press reporter, we have identified total 26 numbers of the culprits who indulged in unprovoked violence and then Total 19 number of the accused so far arrested. Out of 19, the 17 are the female and two are the male accused. We also identified one of the main conspirator, Sarsen R. Marak, who was earlier uh, police, uh, I think, RC. And in 2012, he was dismissed from the service for prolonged absence. And uh, he, he now he has affiliations with some political party because she tried to contest elections, MBC elections from the CGU of the South Carolina districts. So now situation is under fully control and I categorically 
a state here that we will not spare anyone. Whoever indulged in in the um, violence and tried to cause damage that to the vehicle of government officials and also try to attack the chief minister, they will not be spared and they will be behind the bar soon. A uh, police is on hunt for most of the uh, conspirators. They have been identified and the police is conducting consistently late uh, since last night. And uh, we have deployed extra forces there. And uh, I have sent uh, the IGP land order to get there and monitor the whole situation. So now situation is under fully control and the CRPF and the second Magalha Police Battalion personnel are deployed. We have registered a case. The complaint was raised by, lodged by uh, the Magalha Civil Service Officer, Mr. Deplin De Sangma, and on the basis of he was duty magistrate, on the basis of his complaint, we have registered a case that is a RIMI police station case number 16 of 23 under various sections of IPC. We have also applied the section of the, the, the Meghale Maintenance Public Order Act 2010 and the PDPT Act that is the Prevention of Damage to Public Property Act 1984 and other than that, the, we have seized substantial numbers of the incriminating materials from the place of occurrence that indicates that the whole incident was pre-planned and conspiracy was haste to attack on the chief minister and cause physical damage to him. So, so far we have uh, seized tons of stones, uh, pebbles from the field and 50 numbers of the bamboos used as sticks to beat up the police personnel. We have seized uh, 20 number of catapults and we have seized one jerrycan full of kerosene oil and then we have also seized uh, 25 number of alcohol bottles from the sport, including two lighters, 12 number of match boxes, and 25 number of hard burnt match sticks. That the whole incident was pre planned and the conspiracy was hashed to attack Honorable Chief Minister and cause damage. Once again, I reiterate that we will not spare anyone, and whoever is found in the hatching conspiracy and involved in the incident will be behind the bar very soon. Now I request to bring for this amul or uh, ring from a shopkeeper there. And he says that uh, he didn't have money and he says that he will pay later. Then however the uh, shopkeeper, uh, she refused to give in because he, uh, he is not having money. Then at the time uh, there was a scuffle with her. Then uh, immediately son of this lady came to rescue her and uh, there was a scuffle between the two then this boy ran away then after half an hour or so uh, he came back with four boys so then when he came, when he came there then they had uh, scuffling this and that and they have another uh, hundred also so uh, they have uh, assault this lady and that her son then after that they ran away uh, to the destination where they had gone then uh, after that incident, the police came to know. Then immediately the officers from Jalipara Office uh, rushed to the spot. And of course, uh, senior officers, including the specity, so has gone to the spot to take stock of the situation. Then uh, after we have identified uh, the, uh, the footage from the uh, camera and so on, so we have identified the, uh, the culprits who were involved in this uh, incident. So uh, last night, uh, the uh, is Kasek police immediately swung into action, the whole night at operation. Then we have uh, arrested uh, three person and apprehended two Jumai uh, two Jumai boys. So then uh, after receiving uh, affair, a case has been registered in Dribbling Street. Uh, case number is 9107-2023 under section 323 oblique 447 oblique 394 and 34 IPC. So uh, this uh, tree will be uh, produced today in the court and of course this uh, two Japan will be dealt as per the GGB Act. And uh, uh, the uh, intervention is, uh, will be done properly uh, this, uh, for all these uh, three boys and action will be taken as per the uh, So this also then you have to uh, case. You will you like to challenge that uh, because it happened in the temple premises. So, uh, Middle color was given to it. Uh, I'd like to just uh, uh, 
Uh, I'd like to observe also that uh, uh, from our investigation, preliminary investigation, in fact, it's uh, a very nascent stage. Uh, it actually happened to be a, a, an assault out there uh, resulting from robbery and trying to snatch things from there. And uh, it was uh, it was an uh, assault arising out of uh, the altercation which they had. And had, had nothing to do with any uh, religious fervor or religious uh, hostility or animosity with the temple. So uh, it is uh, one of case where actually it has nothing to do with any religious affiliation. That is one thing. But uh, uh, investigation, that's why we've asked for further five days police custody to ascertain all the facts of the matter so that uh, we come to a proper conclusion of the uh, case. And uh, 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 in fact, uh, we had also seen that uh, that uh, one of the accused had an implement which he used. Okay, so we need to recover that. They also in the FIR there is also snatching of uh, money and mobile phones of the uh, complainants. So we need to recover that for which we have asked for police custody.